What's going on? Germs here. Today we are going to review a vintage US MRE menu number 12 ground beef with spiced sauce. This is going to be from the 80s. So stick around. Let's get this thing cracked open and see what we got. All right. So this is a vintage MRE uh, from the 80s. This was uh, menu number 12 from about 1981 till 1987. And then after that, menu number 12 became e-scallop potatoes. Uh, so this is going to be from uh, the early 80s, and I'm interested to see what's in it. Had good luck with uh, older 80s MREs. Uh, I'm run wondering when my luck is going to run out. Uh, but this particular MRE was packed uh, by Right Away Foods Corp in McAllen, Texas. So... Let's get this open. Let's see what we got and let's see if any of it is any good. All right, I'm going to open this from the back. I think I want to save this. Let's give it a smell. Oh, yeah, it smells old. Kind of has that old cabin smell, that old deer camp smell. Uh, it's not a bad smell either. So let's see what we got. First off, we got freeze dried peaches and they're not broken. So I'm sure these are going to be perfectly fine. I can't wait. We've got our beef with spiced sauce, and there is a date code on here, so this is going to be 1987, 22nd day of 1987, so last year production for this menu. Got our army crackers, got our accessory packet A, we have a cookie, chocolate covered. This is probably going to be good too. And thankfully we've got some peanut butter. I'm sure this is going to be fantastic. Well, there you have it. This is a 1987 MRE beef ground with spice sauce. Almost forgot. We got our old school MCI spoon. Let's slap this out onto a tray and we'll dig in. Perfect. All right. The first thing I want to do, I'm going to get this, this main heated in some boiling water. This thing is 36 years old. So even if I try it, which I don't think I'm gonna, I might. It's got vinegar in it. I want it to be very well boiled and heated just to kill any of the creepy crawlies in there. So I'm going to get this open and we'll check out the uh, retort pouch, see what condition that is in. Everything else looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Okay, this retort pouch actually looks perfect. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. I don't see well, I guess, no, now that I'm inspecting it, there is a little bit of bubbling there, but it's not bad. I've seen much worse. So let me go get this and do some boiling water and I'll be right back. All right, while that stuff boils, I'm going to open up the rest of this stuff, get it out on the tray and see if any of this stuff is any good. First, we'll open up that accessory packet. Give it a smell. There's just nothing like it. There's nothing like it. That old, it takes you back to your childhood. So we've got our Bung Fluff, Green Bay, Wisconsin, Tough Go, Go Pack, Coffee Instant. Might be good. Cream Substitute, Dry, Non-Dairy. That might actually be good still. Spearmint Chiclets, Iodized Salt, Sugar, Army Matches. White Tip. Let's get these crackers open. Yep, I heard it. Good vacuum seal there. They smell perfect. And they actually came out in one piece, both of them. These uh, crackers from the 80s and I think early 90s are better than the current ones. Especially the ones from the early 80s that had salt get our cookie bar chocolate covered open this looks really good looks like there's nothing wrong with it and it smells perfect it smells delicious i'm going to wait on those peaches until the last minute cuz i don't want them to start absorbing moisture cuz it's really humid so i'll wait on those while we wait for the main to heat, 
I'm going to make some coffee. I'm going to go get some boiling water and I'll be right back. All right, let's check out this coffee. Okay, this has ascorbic acid in it and it says dissolve contents in a third canteen cup or eight ounces of water. And I was going to use this mug. However, finally have a canteen cup was camping last weekend and my brother got me this as a gift so i really appreciate it dan thank you very much so now i can use this hopefully this is good and it looks perfectly fine hard to see in there but Smells perfect, looks perfect. Let's get her dumped in. And why not check out this creamer? It's questionable. Hopefully it's good. Perfectly fine. Smells good, we're gonna dump that in. And we're gonna do a little bit of sugar. Not the whole thing. Eh, what the hell. That's about a third of a canteen cup. Give it a stir. All right, we'll let that cool off and set this over here. All right, I'm gonna wait a little bit, let that main heat really, really good. And once that's done, I will come back and we will continue with the rest of this. So as I'm waiting for that main to heat, I happen to remember that I actually have two of these MREs, the same menu. And so when I went to look, I realized that this other one that I have, menu number 12, ground beef with spiced sauce, it actually has the big number on it. Now, they apparently changed to the big numbers in 1988, but they stopped making this menu in 1987. So I'd be really interested to know what the date codes are, are on this one. So I thought that's pretty interesting that, you know, this, this bag, they must have changed these bags a little earlier than 1988, or they continued this menu into 1988 until they maybe ran out so yeah you can see that this bag from 1987 doesn't have the big numbers anywhere so i thought this was pretty interesting all right so that's been boiling for a good 20 minutes so i think it's safe uh so let's uh let's continue opening stuff up and trying stuff this pouch held up pretty well didn't uh, delaminate so i'm hoping this is going to be still good like i said i've had good luck with these early uh 80s actually this is a, a mid to late 80s mre but i've had pretty good luck with 80s mres all right so i want to let this cool just a bit because it is very hot so let's check out this peanut butter it's a little bit it's a little bit hard at the ends but it actually seems pretty good. It just needs to be mixed up. This old peanut butter is almost always good. I've only had one that, that didn't taste quite right. Probably was okay, but it just was off just a bit. Looks perfect. Let's give it a taste. Oh, that is amazing. This peanut butter is so good. You just, I've said it before in my other videos, you just can't get peanut butter that tastes like this anymore. All right, I want to get this out onto some crackers. Give that a shot.
All right, let's give it a try. These crackers are excellent. They're so good. Yeah, these are so good. You got a bit more peanut butter back in the day than they give you now. I don't know why. Peanut butter is just such a great like staple for lasting a long time and it tastes good. It's high in calories, very, very good energy food. So I don't know why they, they're skimping on the peanut butter. Man, such a great combo. Just got to love the old MRI peanut butter, even the old MCI peanut butter. It's just so fantastic. That did make me thirsty. That peanut butter is very sticky and makes your mouth dry. So let's try out our coffee. That's really good coffee. No complaints with that. Very smooth, not bitter, not strong. It's a nice mild roast. I do like strong coffee, but it's actually really good. All right, let's get this out. Let's see if we can actually eat it. It's extremely hot, so I'm going to have to use my knife. Now, hard to see in there, but it actually smells perfect. That smells really good. The smell reminds me just like my mom's sloppy joes because there's there's vinegar in that and the way my mom made them there was a vinegar punch to her sloppy joes and they were the best ever so let's get it out see what it looks like i have a feeling this is going to be good yeah this this actually looks good and it smells good. So, so I'm going to take a little bite. I'm just going to give it a test. Looks good, smells good. I'll give it a little taste test and see what happens. That tastes perfectly fine. I mean, that tastes, there is no off putting or off taste to this. Nothing smells rotten. Nothing tastes rotten. Nothing tastes off with this. That is perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. Wow. I am shocked. I guess I shouldn't be shocked. Like I said, I've had good luck with these 80s MREs, so I guess my lucky streak continues. I'm going to crunch up some crackers in there. Let's get a little bite. Man, I'm just, I'm floored. I mean, I'm just amazed that something can hold up like this for 36 years it i mean it looks perfect everything's perfect so like i said this reminds me a lot of a sloppy joe because it tastes like a lot what my mom made homemade there's i don't really get spice i'm not getting spice out of this at all it's vinegary and it's sweet and there's tomato it's it's there's ketchup in it and there's probably some mustard in there too and maybe even a little hint of lemon juice 
but it's got that vinegar bite. And that may be why it's still good. But I'm not getting any I'm not getting any sensations in my mouth, no tingling, no nothing. This is really good. So amazing. Unbelievable. That 36 year old food, still good. All right, I guess let's get these peaches out. I want to see how well these held up, and I think they are going to be just fine. Pretty much whole. Probably broke when I dropped it, getting it out onto the tray. But let's give it a shot. Oh, yeah. I think another couple of years, you can see it's kind of getting brownish. Another couple of years, it might not have been good. I don't know. But I know because I have a freeze dryer, when you freeze dry fruit and you eat it, that flavor is just intensified. It just gets so much sweeter. These are just so good. Definitely can't complain about that. So let's try this uh, cookie bar. I have, I have a feeling it's going to be just fine. Yeah, that is just fine. This is amazing. These are really good. This is the first one I've had, actually. I think I've always gotten fudge brownies, and those are never good. This is more like an oatmeal cookie, chocolate-covered oatmeal. Yeah, that is good. Let's try this. Got a little bit of peanut butter left. Saved a little bit for this. Let's see how that goes. That is fantastic. That chocolate and the peanut butter goes so well together. And it pairs with that cookie. Oh, it's fantastic. I actually wish I had saved a little more peanut butter. All right. I don't normally do this, but... I'm going to try these chiclets out. I like spearmint. Very crunchy to start out with, but a really, real nice spearmint flavor. Not much else to say. It's gum. And just for shits and giggles. It works. All right. There you have it. What a journey this was. 36 years old, 1987, this ration is from. And there wasn't one thing wrong with it. Everything in it was perfect. Even the crackers came out whole. So this ration must have been stored very, very well. Probably one of the better stored rations or better condition rations from the 80s I've seen. So I got really, really lucky with this one. This was great. I'd be interested to open up the other menu with the big number 12 on it, but I kind of want to hang on to it. If any of you guys, any of you ration reviewers out there that are watching this, if you have any insight on the big number on the bag from 1987 or when it shouldn't have been on a 1987 bag, or if menu 12 ground beef with sliced, spice sauce made it into 1988. So if any of you know, drop a comment below and let me know. All right, well, I appreciate you sticking around and watch this. This was not what I expected. I kind of expected to not eat some of this, but I ate the whole thing. Maybe I should uh, put in the description tomorrow whether I'm alive or not, um, but I have no reason to believe that I won't be. Um, everything looked and tasted and smelled great. So I appreciate you watching. If you're here still, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a like down below. 
drop a comment if you want. Click that notification bell so you're notified when I post new content. And I will be back doing another review, hopefully in about a week or so. So I appreciate you watching. Later. One last thing. It can't hurt, right? I mean, if there's any germs in germs tummy, this should kill it.